for a price that will make you. Welcome to Sweet Tea TV. My name is Bill, but I'm just filming this for another YouTube channel. Today I want to talk about something that happened a couple months ago here in Ghana. And it was, uh, the memory of it was ended by the war in Ukraine. And I thought it might get a kick out of it, because I did. So I would like to ride my bike, whatever country I go, wherever I go. I like to buy a bike, I like to use it to transport myself around. Um, I find it a lot more flexible, and uh, in this particular case, I was riding my bike, um, and I noticed something particularly, well, kind of small, but it was an increased flow in the water uh, drain system, a lot of water coming down the drain system. I thought it was kind of odd, and apparently uh, someone else thought it was odd too, and so she asked me, she said, well, what's going on? I said, I don't know. And uh, she referred to the water coming down the drain. And I was like, uh, I don't know. Well, I could tell her accent uh, was Eastern uh, European or uh, Russian. I was Slavic. I think she was Slavic. But, uh, and so we continued with our conversation. And sure enough, she was a Russian national here in Ghana. Um, they're here. Uh, they have a lot of businesses all over Africa. So it's not really an odd thing, um, but in any case, um, we, our conversation started with me introducing myself, who I was, and where I'm from, and it evolved to talking about politics. Now they say you should never talk about politics because it never ends good, and so um, in this case it's probably true because sure enough, um, we got to the point where the Russian national was like, okay, um, you can leave. <laughs> uh, and I said, I said, okay, and then I thanked them in Russian. And as I was about to go, <laughs> she called me a spy. She said, I'm sure you're a spy. And so I got a little kick out of that because, um, you know, a lot of times people will try to uh, label you. Just so they can, in their mind, uh, uh, rationalize um, your point of view. And so in this case, she doesn't like my politics. And so she said, uh, you know, you're a spy. You're a spy. But what I learned from that conversation was that there, there some people, in this case a Russian national, had a mindset that was so clearly defined, was so clearly um, uh, focused that no matter what I said, uh, what information I presented, uh, they were clearly entrenched and they were not going to um, deviate from their uh, point of view and keep serving the game. Um, she didn't just show an affection for the country of Russia. Um, it wasn't that we didn't get that involved, but she did show uh, her affection for the leader, the Russian leader, Vladimir Putin. And so when I uh, gave some pushback, um, she clearly didn't like that. Uh, but I can tell you that there is a uh, Russian national who has a favorite Putin in Ghana, I'm sure that Putin, uh, but in this particular case, uh, she called me a spy. So I just wrote off, I didn't call her anything, even though I know a few bad words in Russia. That was not necessary. I take my uh, labels and I just throw them somewhere else uh, in the closet full of labels. But uh, I thought it was kind of funny, but in light of the recent that they're going on there is a serious uh, aspect of that conversation of the fact that you know people are so entrenched in their beliefs that they are willing to say and do things that may not be true and in this case the, the Ukrainian the Ukrainians um, Eastern European countries uh, uh, being affected 
the kind of war, uh, as well as Russia's uh, mini Russia will be affected by this war. Uh, economies are going to uh, be affected by this war. Um, people are going to die, and people are going to be displaced. Families are going to be uh, broken apart. And it's all because people you know, like this Russian national. Uh, are so entrenched in their belief that they are willing to say and do anything. And so I think that's a shame. My heart goes out to um, everyone globally affected by war. I'm a man of peace, not of war. And so anyone who's affected by uh, war are victims and uh, they deserve uh, my prayers and uh, my blessings. Yeah, just thought that was kind of funny, man. I just caught a spot, you know. I guess if you speak too many words of English language, um, you may be considered a threat. But uh, I didn't speak enough Russian to be considered a threat. It's just because we've spoken mostly in English, she didn't get no English. And so, um, yeah, it's, if her views are that entrenched, then a matter of Imagine the leader of uh, Russia, how entrenched he is, uh, and what he's going to do in order to um, uh, see his goals through. You know, so um, I just want to bring that to you, definitely to you. Um, I thought it was a pretty funny story. So uh, if you like the uh, video, well, I'm happy. <laughs> But yeah, so uh, be, uh, if you're in a demo over here, be prepared to be called mostly <laughs> Maybe even called you. Well, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. God bless. Bye.